It was good. Mm. Is this thing public? Because I can't freaking tell. It says it's scheduled. Why isn't it live? Are we live? Because it doesn't look like it. Like even when I hover over it, it says it's... Oh, there we go. There we go. Is this not the right thumbnail then? <laughs> Just doesn't seem like there's a lot of people here. Yes, I am enjoying the music. Sorry, I'm just trying to get everything sorted here. That's all. We're changing this thumbnail. The thumbnail is being changed. Give me a second. Uh, uh. Excuse me. Yesterday was a massive day for FNAF. Like huge Mungo. It was crazy. It was so cool. Like, I'm still kind of in awe. I had to show my wife the trailer today. She wasn't as thrilled as I was, but it's pretty cool. She totally forgot that Josh Hutcherson was in Hunger Games. That's how long it's been. But yeah, I think I'm, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to mess around with this thumbnail real quick. So give me a secone. How's everybody's day doing? Everybody having a good day? What am I doing? Yeah, I'm just mess. I'm just thumbnail messing around. How massive? Like, like big PP massive. I also wonder if they were, if they were going to like post the trailer the next, like today instead of yesterday. I wonder if they were going to do that. But since there was so many people pushing it and like I was live streaming, I had Scott Cawthon in my chat and stuff. I just wonder if they weren't going to do that. And I wonder if I kind of helped out. The community <laughs> sometimes because I had so many people in here, new people too. But like, I just wonder if they weren't gonna upload the trailer till today. You're a theorist now. I mean, the whole FNAF community theorizes. Really, I'm not a theorist. I'm allowed to theorize when I want, bro. The trailer is out and they are teasing something for the Security Breach DLC? Where? What are they teasing? I want to see Fred Bear in the movie. I want to see everyone in the movie. Yeah, there's not a lot of people here. What's going on right now? Should I, should I mess around? Should I mess around with this thumbnail? I'm like zoning out. I'm still trying to wake up. I worked last night, so I'm like exhaustido. I want to, I want to keep this. It's just a theory, man. But like, ah, and you know, I'm keeping the thumbnail. It's it's great. I love it. It's perfect. <laughs> um. Anyways, yeah, we're just gonna we're just gonna keep it up with this. Then, if there's not as many people in here right now, that's fine. I ain't upset because I don't really have much to do on the channel today. I don't have a whole lot on my mind, so. I thought 
we would kind of just rewatch the trailer a bunch of times and see if there's anything we can spot out. Okay? We can just check that out. Because, like, yeah, I don't have much to do today. There's not really much in the community that I want to I want to react to. I want to game. I know there's not much. There's not really much. But I want to hang out with you guys. I had fun yesterday, so I thought doing it again would be cool. I had downloaded a, a 4K version of the trailer. So I was going to check that out. Ah! It's already going. So, like, just to see if we can spot anything in particular. If I could pause this, would be fantastic. Um, and yeah, go from there. But I also want to wait for more people to come in. I don't know why there's like absolutely nobody here. I can't even remember the time, what time I was streaming yesterday. It was like six or something, six thirty. I think it was more like six thirty, seven o'clock. P uh, E S T. Dude, I am so tired. I'm just trying to wake up. So I got a coffee here. So give me a give me a little second here. I'll wake up. I promise. I promete. Promete. Um, give me a second. What is happening here? I'm going to pause this. Where's the pause button? <laughs> no, I want to switch to here. Okay, there we go. Can you tell I'm just waking up? Yes, it's 5.30 p.m. And I'm waking up. That's what happens when you work nights. I'm working the night shift. I already forgot what the hell I was doing. That's how tired I am. <laughs> oh. All oh, right, I was doing I was going to post onto the channel page. I was going to do a little play of this damn crap. Uh, create the post. Can I create the post? What do you mean that's not how you sp Is that really not how you spell theorizing? It's with a Z? No wonder everyone's freaking out. No one's showing up. They're like, wow, this guy can't freaking spell, dude. <laughs> um. I thought it was with a Z and then I switched it to with an S and I was like, oh, maybe that's how you spell it. That looks that looks it looks weird, but it's not like showing up as an autocorrect. Friggin' weird, man. The English language can be a little funky sometimes. Oh. I gotta copy and paste this crapola. Sorry, it's taking a little longer than I wanted it to. Post. We're gonna click the post. What's happening? Post. It won't let me click the post button. Squeeze me? Did it post? Nope. No posting. <laughs> Sorry, this is taking longer than I wanted it to. Post. It actually won't let me post. Oh, there it goes. Heavily delayed. Okay. We Gucci now. We Gucci. All right. Hello, everybody who just showed up. I know there's not a whole lot of people in here now, but I'm just going to get into it. I'm just going to get into it. Mm. Welcome. Um, for the people who showed up in the stream yesterday, thank you for being there. Yes, thank you. It was a lot of fun. Like, a lot of fun. It was super cool. I And it was also very stressful. Extremely stressful. Um, Non-FNAF, are you plan to stream more later? Oh, yeah. I don't know, guys. Like, I, I really don't even have the time to even do this stream. But since I'm not recording much today, um, 
I don't really have much to record. I'm just going to do a little live analysis. Check out the trailer a little more in depth and see what we can find. You know what I'm saying? Okay, chill, girl. All right, guys. Let's see what we can do here. Let's see what we can do, all right? Let's 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 take a little gander. Why do I feel like my webcam is not in a good spot? Okay, we good. Okay, so we're going to be watching. Yesterday was insane. Like, it's nuts. Vapor has angels to take care of. Oh, yes, my wife and my son, which they are both downstairs taking care of themselves. <laughs> Uh, okay, so let's see. We got a 4K Ultra HD version. Um, I can't remember. It was like Trailer Spot, I think, uploaded it to YouTube. So thank you for them for doing that. It's a pretty good quality version. So we're going to start, and we'll go back and forth. If you guys have any theories of your own or anything you see that you want me to look at, I would love to check it out. So we'll start just right off the bat. Like... I did this Welcome. before, too. I want to see... I can't see her goddamn name. It is non-existent. Every time I've, like, paused it or, like, scrolled through, I can't see her name. I have no idea who this girl is. Um, But let's check out some of the pins. I'm pretty sure we got a... Hold on. We got a Bonnie here with a guitar. Can you see my mouse? Okay, you can. I see. I think there's a Freddy here. We got Chica. Um, The Let's Eat, obviously. To Freddy. Fazbear. There's a glare on the bottom one. I'm pretty sure this one right here is of uh, the checkered pattern that's all around the pizzeria itself, which is pretty cool. There's pizza. I just can't see most of it. I, let's just take an eye. Let's just like look at the tie real quick. The tie is the actual confetti. Remember when you win and the confetti comes down? Boom. Tie confetti. Also, her name tag is the same like design as the the sign itself. That's pretty cool too. I like that. Saria, we're. I don't know if there's much in this shot. It's just of the kids hanging out, enjoying pizza. Everything looks so mint. I just realized too the colors are purple and blue on the wall. Is this, was that normal? I mean, this is like during the time when. When. Uh, A cast member said it's Diane. You think her name's Diane? I just don't know if I could... Hold on, let me try this again. Welcome to Freddy Fazbear's Pizzeria. It could be. It could very well be. All right, so what else do we have here? We got a poster in the background. Some kid is enjoying himself. That's for damn sure. And the ball pit's just on uh, over the horizon here with the balloons hanging off. Kids playing foosball. This guy's got a foxy plush, which. I have the exact same one. Is it? Is it the same? It's the exact same one, except mine still has the tag on it from when I got it. This guy has been around since the beginning of my career. <laughs> I haven't bought a single. I haven't bought a new one in time. Oh my Jesus. Anyways, so there's not much else to see in this shot. This one here, though. It looks like they're playing Asteroids, which is a really fun game that uh, a lot of you probably have no idea what it is. Um, there's not much in this shot either. Got a creepy uh, creepy alien-looking thing there. Come to the ball pit. The freaking ball pit. Oh. Life. This is cool. Showtime. There's an actual Showtime button. You know that infamous button? in FNAF Help Wanted that you press and nothing happens? Nothing? God. You guys want me to take a screenshot and and I don't know how to make it less fuzzy. That's the thing. It's in VHS form. I also don't think there's much else to look here. I just know that the animatronics looks friggin' awesome. This is cool. And, like, why is there the, the zero red? Why is it red? Is that to, like, symbolize the red eyes that we end up seeing in the trailer? This whole building is just... I just love everything about this area. It's so freaking cool. You're watching. 
so cool. Sorry, I'm just I'm I'm just analyzing everything. Just looking at it. And Mr. Josh Hutcherson, Michael himself. So he already has a security like badge in the security outfit on. I guess that's an outfit. I wouldn't call it a security outfit for the most part. It's very cash. <laughs> but like he's already got the job here, clearly. Right? He's got his he's got his um his his flashlight, everything. This shot's cool. The fact that it, um in the 4K version, it's a lot brighter. I don't know if you guys can see it as bright as I can, but it's pretty bright. What are you guys talking about in the comments here or in the, in the chat? Yeah, I'm waiting for Matt Pat to, to theorize this. He's going to be going nuts over this. So I'm just reading what you guys are saying here. <laughs> okay, so let's just look at this uh, whole area here. Everything really still looks this. Even the colors of the walls are still, you know, purple and blue. I wonder how much further into the future this is. You can really see the prize corner now. You can see the the masks that you can purchase. My cat is scratching at the door. Give me a second. She always wants in. I mean, her food and tower is here, so I would too. Anyways, um, I like the stained glass that we got here. We got a Bonnie one here. We got the Chica. We also got all these uh, pictures on the walls. That's infamous to the FNAF universe. I love that. Everything about this shot, just I just want to stare at it forever. It's cool. And I'm pretty sure like they had a spaceship style ride in like FNAF 2. I don't freaking know. Yo, Jay Fields, chill out on the dabbing, bro. Quit it, please, or you're going to get time out. I'm pretty sure uh, I don't think we have any any people here. I don't know if we have a mod. I might have to put on oh yeah, slow mode. Might have to do it. I don't know if there's any mods in the chat. I think they left, but slow mode it is. Slow mode it is, Still Jay Fields. Dabbing, bro. Quit it. My god, people don't know when to stop. It's not fun, Jay. It's not fun. It's not fun at all. <laughs> I'm putting you in a timeout. Yeah, that's what I did. That's exactly what I just did. I'm going to keep the stream open just so I could do that when I when I need to. Anyways, sorry, I was gaming. I know, Pleto, because I did it myself, bro. It's all good. I would. I wish I could be gaming too, but there's nothing I can really game right now. Well, this looks cool, man. This whole shot is just so cool. I just can't wait to see this movie. Imagine it was in 3D, bro. I would go nuts. i poop myself for sure. It means but there's nothing else to really, uh, I guess, decipher in this shot. Oh, sorry, my jaw is sore. You have been selected as Freddy's newest security. I'm just excited. To see Josh Hutch like is Josh Hutcherson a fan? Is he like a FNAF fan? I feel like some of the people that are in this in these roles, like they have to at least have some sort of connection to the FNAF universe in some way. Or they just needed the job and they got hired for the role and were like, hell yeah, I'll do this. Regard. Like I can't remember. Is like I don't know if, if Matthew Lillard is a fan of FNAF. Um there's got to be a... F like, I know there's other people in this movie that are 100% in the FNAF universe. I just wonder if there's going to be any YouTubers. Don't tell me if there is, because someone tried to, I think, spoil that yesterday. Uh. Look at the... Ch look at Carl, though. Carl looks mint from the side, dude. I've never seen him like that from the side. Whoa, chill. I paused you. 
Okay, where do we think he's here? He's got to be in the office here because there's another. There's the poster behind him, right? We got that infamous FNAF poster that's in the office right behind him. It's our turn it on. This shot. Oh my god, it's just so great. So you remember in the FNAF VR Help Wanted, FNAF 1, I think they had the same sort of kind of camera board as this. It's pretty identical. That That's like the exact same cup, the fan, the poster, the camera. Everything is in the right order, and it's so freaking cool, man. Like they did, someone's sitting here, by the way. You can see the security. He's sitting here, probably sleeping. I don't know which, if, you know what, I have a feeling that this is the security guard that, like, was before Michael. That's what I'm thinking. Like, you got ex the perfect parts and service room. Uh, this hallway, too, is normally the hallway where I think Foxy, or Bonnie's standing at the end of and Foxy runs down. Some of the angle, like this one, too, is infamous. It's like the first camera next to the, you know, at the, what, they have outside cameras. Outdoor cameras. Oh, I really wish that we saw something in this shot specifically. Like something moving. But I don't see anything moving. Okay, this is cool. This is freaking cool, man. Because it's like the exact same layout as the animatronics in FNAF 1. I'm just staring at it all. I'm just I'm just taking a gander. It'd be even cooler if eyes eyes kind of started turning. Okay, we got the restrooms there. We're going to have so much. I pressed so the pause button. Excuse me. <laughs> Freddy behind him though, come on. Freddy's just like hey. You paused me. Wait, sorry. Who? Who paused who? I paused someone? Anyways. We're going to have so much Diane, fun Diane, is that together. you? This is cool. He's actually got his... Wait, hold on. Hold on. Together. So, either... This is Michael. Together. I'm not entirely sure because he wasn't wearing his security guard outfit when he first showed up. So this is... What the hell is my cat doing? This is a time either later in the movie when he's got his outfit fully or this is the other security guard. <laughs> yeah. No. <laughs> Oh my god, Jay. Alright, I'm just gonna kick Jay. Jay, you're getting kicked, bro. I'm sorry. Um Hey! What is my cat doing, man? Unfortunately, Jay won't be with us anymore. Sorry, Jay. I don't get why people have to do that, and it just ruins it for everyone else, including themselves. But, like, okay, back to this. This is either Josh, later in the movie, possibly in the scooper scenario, or or this is in the, the beginning where the other security guard's there. I don't know. Probably not. But this is definitely some scooper scenario. Or he's being stuffed into a, a, a spring lock suit and this is going to be like a FNAF uh, sister location night four scenario. That's what I'm thinking, dude. Hey. Jay was annoying. Jay won't be missed. It's all good. <laughs> but like what in the absolute hellscape is this? Like, pardon? This is definitely like well, you can you can see right through 
the animatronic. Like this is some withered down Freddy that's been manipulated into basically making this contraption, probably by William Afton himself. Did someone just say, is my tongue bleeding? What? No. It's not bleeding. You weirdos? <laughs> Who the F is Jay? <laughs> I don't know. Nobody knows. Anyways, it's a mask, but it's got like, it's got a neck. You know what I mean? Like, I don't think it's somebody like holding the mask. I think it's, I mean, it could be someone holding the mask. I don't freaking know, dude. I just know that this is the back of a mask. This is the back of a head of an animatronic. And this is like, what? What? But yeah, this is like an old, decrepit animatronic head. Like the teeth are broken, the mask, the fur's falling off of the the actual exoskeleton, and then the, the endoskeleton's manipulate into this friggin' like scalping tool. <laughs> creepy. It's so creepy. I love it. And then this shot's pretty sick. Because it's Foxy. Everybody lo knows that I love me some Foxy. I hope he's like just as terrifying. Because I like him. Like I hope he's fast. I hope he. I hope this movie is gruesome. This movie needs to be gruesome. Someone's saying it might be William. In the, but it's not. I don't think it is William. Like, th actually, you know what? These two Together. parts, like, that could be different from this part. That could be, like, like you said, it could be William. But, no, nah, that wouldn't make sense if it was William, no? No, because William, like, gets, he puts himself into the suit, right? And then the spring locks go off. If that's, oh, man, I hope we get that scene in the movie. That will be so freaking cool. Also, the laughter in the background, Balloon Boy. I didn't want to say anything yesterday because I was just so like into the trailer, but that laugh is Balloon Boy. And it gave me PTSD from when I reacted to Balloon Boy's laughter for an hour. That, uh, that wasn't fun. My cat's still here. My cat's hanging out in my beanbag chair. Or, yeah, that's true, too. It could be a nightmare. It could be something that, like... You know, he's like not it's not real and he's, you know, dreaming it. But this is cool. So this is um this is Piper, correct? So this is supposed to be Abby, uh, Mike's little sister. So he probably brings her to work one night just because, you know, he doesn't realize this crap's all happening, blah blah blah. But like I'd bring my kid. I'd I'd bring my kid to this job. Like this is a good like bring your son or daughter or sister to work day. You know? Cuz it's it's like a Chuck E Cheese. Like you're you're there to there's a lot of stuff to have fun. Why are some people saying not Abby? This is Abby. This is li this is literally Abby. It's in the it's in the um it's in the IMDb of this person's names. Like this is Piper, the the young actress, and she's Abby in the trail in the IMDb. So that's her name. Which if you switch the letters around A and B, you get baby. So supposed to depict elizabeth probably but maybe i don't know i know nothing i know pleto just go back to your roblox or whatever the hell you're playing <laughs> i'm just looking in the background to see if anything pops up this is cool though like what's freddy doing in pirate code someone tell me those eyes though can we just take a look at those eyes real quick they're not only just red they're bloodshot like, it's like they're supposed to be someone's eyes, but at the same time, they're too big to be someone's eyes. And then this is supposed to be Vanessa, correct? This, this character's Vanessa, which I don't know if it's the same, like, Vanessa as 
Um, I don't know if it's the same Vanessa that's in security breach, but she's supposed to be some sort of police officer, which I'm assuming enlightens everyone, um, so like Michael and all that, of what happened in the past scenario of, of why the place is closed down. That's what I'm thinking. Maybe she'll explain everything to him and kind of help. Maybe she'll be his partner in crime. Or she's possessed. I don't friggin' know. She's She looks kind of maniacal. Yeah, I called you maniacal. Don't look at me like that. Wait. Someone. Oh, she's looking at Piper. Like, this is her. This is hair. I was trying to figure that out. Okay, this shot, though. Oh, shoot. Too far. Too far. No, still too far. Okay. So, this is pretty obvious. This is this is easy to decipher. So, I'm assuming this child here must be Chica, okay? This must be Foxy. He's also got like a I guess like a prosthetic hand or something or whatever. He's got something in his right hand which is supposed to resemble a hook, the colors, everything. Foxy. This has got to be Freddy. This has got to be Freddy. Just, you know, judging by the color of the sweater, it's, it's brown, and then Bonnie with the ears. But who the hell is the other one? Like, who's this kid? This could be, like, Golden Freddy. Like, like, I don't know. I don't know what their plans are for this show, this movie, and who's going to be who kind of thing, but I'm assuming this is some sort of, like, hallucination. He's freaking out and seeing these kids, the souls of the kids. And then we got your boy, William Afton. Eh, eh. Pretty cool. I'm excited to see what Matthew like, has to offer for this role. Because, like, it's William Afton, guys. The guy is a maniac. The guy is crazy. I don't know if it could be a flashback, though. That's the thing. I don't know if that would be a flashback. Because he... I mean, I don't know, though. He looks like... It's Shaggy, yeah. <laughs> you got something, right? <laughs> he's a bit of a boomer. He's 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 not, He might be a boomer. I don't know how old he is. <laughs> but he... Anyways, that scene, this scene back here. We'll go back here for a second. Like, I don't think this could be, I don't think this would be a flashback because he still looks the same age and everything. He doesn't even have a clean shaven beard, but it could be. He could be haunted, being haunted by these guys now that he's working at this uh, Freddy Fazbear's Pizza. William here, does he doesn't look mean. He doesn't look, like, scary. So this could be, like, pre- Pre everything, he's also got a degree of some sort. He's in something. Who knows? Robotics. Isn't he like supposed to be? He's like a genius in that sense. He knows what he's doing. It was a sick trailer though. See, like, like Michael's freaking out here. Clearly, he's having issues. And then this scene. Where do you think we are? This looks like underground. And look, it's the same security guard outfit that I was talking about earlier in this scene. Here. Together. Like, look, it's the same outfit. It could very well be that dude. Fritz or whatever, I don't know. It could also be the Bite of 87. You know? This could be the Bite of 87 right here. It's just a theory, man. It's just, but like, that's all I can think about is that this could be that scene, like continuing that scene. Because you know how they do that. They do that in trailers all the time. They mix and match all different scenes and they kind of, if you decipher them in a certain way, they, they all could line up in some way. So... Hello. I wanted to pause as close as possible. This could be the bite of 87. Like 
100 okay maybe not 100 percent. i'm 95 percent sure this could be the bite of 87 and then obviously it was that the bite of 83 is when his brother gets bitten his frontal lobe off by gold by gold or yeah golden freddy there this would be a film theory scenario 100 percent, not a game theory they would do it as a film theory but this this is insane this scene here like this is either foxy or the mimic it could be the mimic but do you think the mimic would show up here also when he stomps on that ball everything turns friggin purple did no one also notice that did nobody notice that everything turns purple like the purple guy Maybe. I don't know. And then Piper, Abby, going into the ball pit. I wonder if it's going to be a time-traveling ball pit. Oh, man. Oh, boy. Also, this is Foxy. You know? This is Foxy. I, for the longest time, I'm like, oh, it's Freddy because we pan over to Freddy. Foxy. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. But look, this is Foxy. And then we get to Freddy, which is a different scene. Completely different scene. This red, the red eye thing is a little funky. I don't know about that. I don't know how I feel about it. And then we got Bonnie also scolding us. Gosh darn. Oh, it's so friggin' cool, guys. Okay, so we'll do a little recap of what I think is going on here. This part, I believe, is the tape that... Jesus Christ... This part, I believe, is the the the, the um, introduction tape to the security program, or just just to know, get some knowledge on Freddy Fazbear's Pizza. It's probably the last tape they ever made, kind of thing. And then the Showtime, everything's mint. There's just not much else to kind of decipher, really. But these shots go hand in hand. These shots go like side by side. And the security outfit changes too. Like crazy. Like in the future they really don't give a crap who you are so they just give you a vest. Which really makes me think. Right? I'm just kind of going through here. Really makes me think that this scene actually no, hold on. What's 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 on his arm? See, I mean this scene here, right? Someone's here. Some security guards in the chair. But the the the, the security part shows on the arm. So I don't know why I'm thinking that this is back in the day. But at the same time, I don't know, because even outside looks so worn down. This could be, this could be uh, uh, also, you know, I just could be overthinking it. Hello? We're going to have so much fun together. And then this scene. I'm, I'm starting to believe that this scene right here is the other security guard. Like the previous one. And then this scene is different than that scene. Are we getting another shadow here? Or is it just because there's multiple lights shining that this is just all foxy? Or is someone else, something else is behind him, I believe. 
Because, like, what the hell is that? It's like multiple animatronics here. And where are they? They look underground. <laughs> and is someone behind Freddy here? Probs nah. Probs nah. Yeah, that uh, that part really reminded me of like their own scooper room, you know, where you're you're still, you can't move. But then that that rendition of the the Freddy model with the blades and everything, like, what is that? Somehow I'm not getting the notifications when you go live. I figured that, judging by there's nobody here. This is so weird. It's so weird that you guys didn't, some of you didn't get notifications. I'm trying so hard too to see who that, who that girl's supposed to be. But like, we've pretty much deciphered everything that could be happening here. So this is obviously uh, Vanessa talking to Abby. Something, she could have just like saved. Yeah, I don't get notifications when he's live as well. You didn't? That's so weird, man. It's funny because yesterday there was like notifications. I have a similar sweater, by the way. It's funny. Anyways, <laughs> male version. It's a male version. This could be the scene like directly after she's in the ball pit. <gasps> or, or Vanessa. Okay, is the current security guard at Freddy Fazbear's Pizza in the time that Abby went into the ball pin, time traveled? I'm really starting to believe that that could be it. I joined off your Discord. Oh. Hmm. That's very weird. Like, very weird. But... This could be like a time traveling scenario where Abby goes into the ball pit and then she pops out and Vanessa's here. Maybe? Maybe? Do I have something there you think? No, like I understand she's supposed to be a cop, but I'm I'm just or she's a cop. Okay, I'm still kind of leaning towards that this is the scene either before I mean I or after the ball pit. Because remember in the books, it's time traveling ball pit. Okay. This could still be that scenario where she went into the ball pit, time traveled, came out, Vanessa's here. Or this is before. I don't know. I still think that the ball pit has some sort of significance towards uh, the books and it's going to transfer into the movie. I don't know why a lot of you are saying no. This is a theory. Yes, it's a possibility. Thanks, Wave. That's how you respond to it. You don't say no. No, it's not. No. No, it can't be. Where's her uniform? Okay, she doesn't have to have the uniform. Like, this could be after hours. This, she, should, she could have just put it off, taken it off. I don't know. Yes, the animatronics are real. Everything in here is, like, there's, I don't, I think there's little to no CGI. Yes. Yes, that's a good, okay, so. Welcome to Freddy Fazbear's Pizzeria, where fantasy and fun come to life. Hit it, guys. That song, okay, yes, that song is a song that was released, I think, in 1983, if we could just figure that out for a second. Just, just think about that for a second. 1983, hmm, what's so significant in 1983? I wonder. <laughs> yes, Ethan, stop copying and pasting, please, or I'm going to turn slow mode on. I hate when people just start doing that, please. One guy I literally hid from the channel because he kept spamming stuff. I see that you're constantly spamming it because I I'm just I'm just looking at the trailer. Anyways, I, I'm really thinking that the scene, like you know, 
here where she's in the ball pit and then she's chilling and they're all kind of looking at her. I have a feeling that she ends up like time traveling. It's got to be a time traveling ball pit. There's no way it can't be. Come on, man. And I still believe that like, maybe not that scene, but like this scene here is the other security guard. And he's getting scoopered. Or, and, and, or this part is a nightmare. It could be a very uh, a nightmare for sure. The bite of 83, I believe, was when um, the crying child got his frontal lobe bitten off, if I'm not mistaken. Everything's so delayed, so I'm trying to figure out what you guys are saying later. Guys, okay, just listen. This part here... So uh, I'm going to Adrian here saying it has to be a nightmare because I don't think they would kill off Mike that early. This You don't know. This could be near the end of the movie. And just remember, they Michael doesn't die in the in, at all. He doesn't die until like FNAF, um, uh, Freddy Fazbear's Pizzeria Simulator is when he gets burned finally, right? So he like, he doesn't, he's not going to die. You know that. They have three movies set up. So this is like, this is either a nightmare or he's getting scooped, which is part of the series. Uh. Hmm. But yeah. All these guys that I'm talking about is just a theory. It's all theories, okay? Everyone's saying it's a spring lock suit. I know it's a spring lock suit, but this is not part of the spring locks, Kurt, usually. This is someone who added this later. <laughs> someone is either going to save him here, or he's going to get scooped, and that's it. And he's just, you know, he's a, he's a husk of a human with a, a, an endoskeleton inside of him or something. Saw X FNAF collab. I love that. That's hilarious. Um, I don't know if I like the red eyes. I'm not a fan of the red eyes. No, not really. Yo, is that AP? Is that AP I'm seeing? You think he's dead here? You think he's dying? Cyborg, you pretty have you have like your own preconceived notions about this, eh? You don't have you don't like listen to anything else. You just believe what you believe and that's it. Yeah, I don't like the red eyes. I'm not a fan of the red eyes. But I'm still believing that this scene when he's getting latched in here is different from this scene. I'm still kind of like thinking about that. Still thinking that that's like they tie in differently. Like so like this scene here, it's the, he's wearing the same outfit, right? Same, same guy. I'm, I'm still believing that that's it. 100%. You know? And that laugh? That's a balloon boy, dude. That's a friggin' balloon boy. That's a friggin' balloon boy. <laughs> I don't like that. I'm not a fan. Foxy and Chica weren't revealed yet. What do you mean? 
Foxy's right here. Look, that's Foxy. That's him there. That's a fox, bro. That's a damn fox head. BB does suck. Oof. Just got a pinch in my head. Um, Chico, though, wasn't. I mean, Chica was in this scene. You can see her. And when he's, you know, looking here, you can see Chica. It's obviously not like this scene where you see both, you know, or three of them and not Chica. But Chica could very well be, you know, in the kitchen. <laughs> there was a voice casting for BB. Oh, no. That's not good. That means it's totally him. Totally. Totes, my goats, broats. And that, that, that foot is definitely foxy now that I'm thinking about it. Because we're like, you know, when we go into this scene, you know, foxy's just right there. So, I think so. I think so. But, uh... It's like the eyes are turning red with that, that noise that you hear. Oh, his mouth opens. You can see through the ball that Foxy's mouth opens up. Hey. There's like, I know there's not much to this trailer. You know, there's not a whole lot to decipher. We've kind of done it all. But like, God, I'm so excited. I'm so excited to see the leaked trailer. I haven't seen it yet. And no, I'm not going to, you know, look at it. She's probably eating garbage. Yo, deaf. Yeah, a lot of people are saying it could be the endo, but I don't know. Uh. I still think it's Foxy, just judging by the scene transition. You are lagging for me really bad right now. I don't know if that's me. I think that's you. Bruh. But I mean, yeah, we kind of covered as much as we could, really. Like this, this scene here is like, this must be underground. And this is probably the scene with Foxy. I love their bow ties, though. I don't think I ever like said that. The bow ties look so real. They look so cool. They're not plastic. Hello? Hello? hello, hello. I'm surprised we didn't get a phone guy reveal. That would be cool. We're going to have so much fun together. Who are you? Who are you? Is your name Rhea? Okay, real quick. Let's um, let's check something. Okay. Let's go to Let's go to the IMDb, okay? You know? Not the video games, the movie. Let's see what they got in here right now. Hold on, hold on. This girl. Is that Vanessa? Deaf. Deaf. Okay, so he's Mike Schmidt. He's not even an Afton. He's a Schmitty. Female villain. Female villain, though. Like, we still have no idea who she is. Mary Stuart Masterson. They won't give that away. He's Bonnie's voice. He's Freddy's. Kevin Foster is Freddy's voice. 
Hank, Christian. I said, that's cool. We got young Mike. See, we do get a young Mike in this, right? Hold on, what are you guys saying down here? Posters look sick. I do like the posters. Ooh, he could be using sound illusion discs. That's a good one. For for Balloon Boy? You think? Oh yeah. Right, right, right. We're we're also trying to figure out the the girl that we see in the trailer. Do you think it's her? Freddy's security guard. This is the guy that we see basically getting his friggin' face bitten off or something. Did you just say the actress? Name? Okay, let's not top cast. I want to see all cast. Can we see all ca full cast and crew? Okay. We actually got quite a bit of people here. We got social workers. We got someone playing Carl. Hell yeah. I love that. So this is everyone that's been revealed. Are we sure it's not Kim? She kind of looks like a Kim. There's pizzeria. She looks like Kim that I'm seeing here. Welcome. I'm pretty sure that's who that is. This girl. Yo, Def. Definitely. That's so her. So her name's Kim. The, act the waitress is Kim. It's gotta be. She looks exactly like her. Why are you saying that Rhea is the waitress? There's nobody here as waitress. Or anybody named Rhea, for that matter. Afraid young boy. Afraid young boy. Is this crying child? What are you guys saying down here? Sorry, I'm just reading. I'm catching up. I'm catching up. Kara. Kara's Afton's wife, right? I thought it was Kara. The actress is not named Rhea. The waitress is the in character is. I don't know, guys. I'm still... I'm leaning towards... Yeah, do you you remember in Fana in like sister location and her name is Kara. Kara. His wife. I mean in the shows. In the Diaries of a Vampire or whatever the heck it's called. What's that? What was the show? Young and the Young and the Vampire. Vampire and the Restless. Yeah, we're going to probably get a whole backstory on the whole everything. Everything will be explained. If if it took Scott this long to get someone to make it right, then it's going to be right. It's going to be good. Asher, this is the, I think this is the Foxy kid. Um, but a hundred percent Kim, this is, this is the way, this is this girl. This is Kim. To Freddie like you can kind of see K I M like it's, it's in big letters. Her name's Kim. 
Hundred <laughs> percent. Carter, the baby isn't mine. <laughs> The immortal and the restless, yes, because it's supposed to it's supposed to symbol symbolize the same uh, soap opera, which is young and the restless. The immortal and the restless. Gotta the baby isn't mine. We'll probably get a William Afton death scene, but I don't know if it'll be in this movie. Maybe at the end, I don't know. So Grant F Feely, I think, is playing the young kid for Freddy. Because we saw that in the trailer. Ghost Kid 5. Like, why is she named Ghost Kid? We got Ghost Kid 3, Ghost Kid 4. Uh, Ghost Kid 5. And there was five kids, right? Um, uh, I, I exited it. Did I really exit it? Why did I do that? Yeah, see, there's five. There's five kids. Yeah, there's five kids. So this is Grant, right? This is uh, Asher, which I'm pretty sure is fo playing Foxy Kid. This girl is Ghost Kid 4 or something, and she's Chica. Ghost Kid 3, which is Bonnie, and then this kid. Hold on a minion. Hold on a minion. What makes no sense? I don't know what you... What do you mean? Yeah, Asher... Uh, Ethan. Janitor. We got a janitor? What? For realsies? Liam Hendricks. This is the... I think the other kid. Who could be Cassidy. Like Golden Freddy. My life, okay. Like, I wonder if these kids that actually have names, like, 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 uh, Lucas Grant, he's playing Garrett, and then we have, like, uh, um, Jeremiah, no, Jeremiah is an older, older gentleman, um, like, Max, Cat, like, all these, these are, like, the present kids, I'm assuming. I'm assuming. I'm an old man, God. I can't be the father. He's definitely your son because he's hanging from the chandelier. <laughs> uh, he's not a vampire. Oh my God, those were hilarious. I know I'm just kind of going through these, just spending time, you know. Yes, we're getting three movies. We're going to be getting three movies, so... <laughs> Chris Pratt is Cassidy. It's a me. Cassidy. <laughs> the one you should not have killed. <laughs> Sorry. Oh, man. It makes me laugh. I'm not going to be on here much longer, though. I just wanted to kind of speculate as much as I could. But, um... Jeremiah and Hank. You know what? You know what? I believe that... Uh, uh, Jeremiah and Hank are both Jeremiah Jeremy <laughs> both Jeremiah and Hank I think are the two technicians that end up dying like in Sister Location I have a, I just think I really think that that's how this is going to be I think like Sister Location it's going to be uh, focusing on Sister Location and FNAF 1 or FNAF yeah FNAF 1 I would love to see Jack Black in this movie. I hope he is, man. He he really deserve it. He deserves it. He's like a heavy, a heavily, uh, uh, a heavy FNAF fan. Jesus, I'm like still so, I'm still trying to wake up. Ugh. Yeah, I really, I really uh, think the, the premise of this movie is going to focus on uh, Sister Location and FNAF 1.
And yes, I really believe that Jeremiah and Hank are going to be the technicians that end up dying, like in sister location. They're, they're hanging, right? And yes, the waitress or the this girl at the beginning, it's Kim. It's freaking Kim, boys and girls. We we deciphered it. Easy. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. I would also like Markiplier to be in this. But he said he's not. But he also can't say anything. Was that the bite of 87? Jack Black as phone guy would be friggin' hilarious. But I, I really think that Scott should be phone guy. He should, he's just, you just need it. You need it. Like, if I don't hear in the next trailer, uh, hello, 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 and it doesn't sound like Scott, I'm gonna, I'm gonna be, like, really upset. The puppet will probably, we're gonna see a lot of, like, deaths, I think. I think we're gonna Kim Kardashian stuff. We're gonna see a lot of deaths, and I like it. It's creepy, but I like it, and I really hope that it's rated at least 14, 14 plus, but I really would like it to be rated R. I think FNAF, because of its lore, I think it deserves a rated R. And um, I really just want to know who the hell Mary Stewart Masterson is. It could be like the uh, the CEO of like Fazbear Entertainment in the end. Female villain though. Or, or it's or it's William Afton's wife. She could be a villain. Nobody knows. I don't know. I don't know, guys. I'm speculating. It's just a theory, guys. Relax. Do not scoop me. Oh, I'm so pumped. So friggin' pumped, though, man. Ethan Jameson, janitor, though. Who the hell's the frickin' janitor? Docos hex plushies are in the prize corner. No, they're not. That would be sick, but I don't think so. I'm zooming in with my eyeballs. I don't freaking know, but that would be sick. And Nicolas Cage pops out. He just goes right from Willy's Wonderland to the FNAF location. He's like, wait, wrong movie. And I highly believe... Uh, uh, where is he? This guy, okay. Freddy's security guard. That scene here where we see... Like this this scene... Spe spe like... <laughs> This is this is the current security guard. This is that guy, Freddy's security guard. And then I believe this scene when he's screaming, this has got to be the bite of eighty three. It's got to be. It's got to be. We need that. That's supposed to come first. So I think that's going to be the beginning of the movie, in nineteen eighty three. It's got to be. I'm I'm calling it right now. I'm calling it. <laughs> Garrett is crying child? Do you think so? You think so? He does look like Gregory, though. He really does pull off a Gregory vibe. Like a crying child vibe. Or it's afraid young boy. It could be afraid young boy just because he's, well, the afraid young boy. And crying child is 100% afraid young boy. Michael Jackson is the crying child. <laughs> Sister location was 1987. Yeah, I know. I know it is, but I still believe that you're, we're going to get the bite of 883 first, which it was, I guess, from the security guard. Right? And then the bite of 87. No. I think the bite of 87 was with the security guard and the bite of 83 was with the child. I think that's what I was getting mixed up. Sorry. My bad. Yeah, you guys are saying that. I'm sorry. I got that mixed up. I was like thinking to myself just now. I'm like, wait, that's not right. Yeah. Bite of 83 is the, the crying child. 
with Fredbear, and then the bite of eighty-seven is what I think this this scene is. Bite of eighty-seven. John, hello, John. We're just doing some speculating. Do you got any theories for us? Because I'll give you a rundown, John. Everybody say hi to John, right? Of what I believe. By the way, this girl's name's Kim. I think we figured that out. You might, you probably figured that out. You're always ahead of the game. This girl's name's Kim. Um, I believe. I believe. Okay, hear me out, John. This scene here. Together. Here. Okay, this is not Michael. I don't think this is Mike. I think this is the other security guard because he's wearing he's wearing the uh, the thingamajigger, the outfit. I believe this is the other guy. And this could be a nightmare. I don't know. That's Balloon Boy's laughter. Ugh. Uh, this part right here, I think, is the bite of 87. I think. And I think because he's wearing that outfit that, that those scenes tie in together. I also believe this scene here, when you see a security guard outfit on the side, this could also be that same security guard. I don't know. I could be wrong as well. But this scene, when Piper or Abby goes into the ball pit, I think there's a time travel at some point. It's got to be, it's got to be infinite. And, 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 implemented and then this scene here when she's talking to piper vanessa it either could be the present the past i don't know but i still think there's some sort of time traveling going to be happening in this in this movie and then i i didn't realize until being on here that this is foxy it took me a bit and foxy also opens his friggin mouth i didn't notice that either anyways i think I think we're going to be getting some, this movie's going to uh, be on the preface of FNAF Sister Location and FNAF 1. And we're going to get the Bite of 83 at some point. And yes, we're looking at IMDB here as well, trying to kind of decipher. I still have no idea who Mary Stuart Masterson's character is going to be. Um, Grant Freely, I think, is playing the young ghost child of Freddy. Um, Jeremiah and Hank are probably the technicians. I think they're the technicians that get killed in Sister Location. That's all I can think about, really. We got a young Mike scene, though. That's what I'm, like, trying to figure out. What the young Mike scene's gonna be. Okay? But, I still think the Bite of 87... Yeah, the Bite of 87 happened at the FNAF 2 location, which was pre-FNAF 1. So I think that's what this scene's going, that scene is. It's, it's that security guard. I don't know. I could be wrong. It just, it, it just seems like it should be. You know? Who's spamming? Yeah, Betty. Betty, relax. Chill out. I'm not. <laughs> you only you only sent seven friggin' the, the same thing in a row. Um, do you agree with the waitress being Kim? Yeah, it's right here, bro. That's the same girl. This is the same girl from the beginning. That's her, man. <laughs> That's her, and her name's Kim in the in the in the IMDb. Right? It's Kim. But anyways, um. We got a social worker, too. So I wonder if she's going to be with young Mike, maybe? Or she's going to be... I don't know, dude. I'm just... I'm speculating. I'm just speculating. But... Yeah. I still believe that this guy... This guy here is, you know... Bite of 87 material. Or at least just the previous security guard. Because I think we're, we're going to be getting some, some past, present, future stuff, man. Or, as some people were saying, this could be a nightmare. It could very well be a nightmare. I don't know. I don't know, man. But it's pretty cool. 
I still think there's going to be some time traveling. Still think it. And this guy here could be Gold Freddy. I don't know. He's got a hat on, too. He's got a top hat, boys and girls. Because you know how each of them have something kind of pertaining to their... their anim Excuse me, I clicked the pause button. I didn't. Why'd you do that? Okay. She's wearing a bib. Chica, 100%. Brown sweater. Uh, Freddy. Uh, uh, kind of a hook for a hand thing. Foxy. Where dog? Dog. Do you guys hear that? Friggin' dog, man. Anyways. Uh, uh, Bonnie, 100%. But I believe this kid's gotta be Golden Freddy. The top hat, man. What are you saying here? Uh, it looks like there's gonna be a lot of jumping around in time in the movie. Oh, 100%. 100% John, I got you, bro. I'm I'm totally thinking that. I also think that where this part is filmed, do you remember when they were doing the filming um early on and there was a lot of leaks and people were showing them in a forest and woods and all that? The Afton House. I believe they're going to be at the Afton House here. Possibly. But this is like the same same like scenery as in that part where they were filming. And they're all running. Why are they running? What are they running from? What's happening with Shaggy? Oh, he's just, he's just, he's thinking of what he's going to kill next. Or this could be a pre. I'm just trying to look at what he, what, what is on the right? Like what he's, what his wardrobe is. <laughs> <laughs> this has got to be some, some sort of animatronic killing this security <laughs> This, we're going to get a game over scene for this guy. <laughs> yeah, I think it's near an Afton house. And this, I think this has got to be Foxy. And also, I'm going to keep saying this. He stomps. They're playing tag. Okay. Chill, Harold. Uh, this, is, uh, this has got to be Foxy. But I also love when he stomps on the ball, everything turns purple. The lighting goes purple. You know? I think this is this is Foxy, but a lot of people, a lot of some people are saying it's a mimic, but I don't know, or an endoskeleton of some sort. And what's that sound? That sound. That's a weird sound. Oh, it's so hard to tell man, what's going to happen. We only got so much in this trailer. There's not a whole lot else we can really check out about it. Oh, man. We've been doing this for over an hour, so... Oh! I'm probably going to get off very soon here. But oh, it's... it's. I think we kind of got enough of uh, an understanding throughout through this trailer of what everything kind of is and what might be happening in these scenes. I know y'all are saying she's hiding, but I still think that they wouldn't just put that in there like that. There's got to be some time traveling. It's the ball pit, guys. It's the freaking ball pit. Uh. Excuse me. I love seeing this scene though. I, I like coming back to it just to see if I can see more things, but there's really not. We got kind of everything down packed. Here's another thing too. <laughs> I'm always crack. Um, this scene here, the tables just look different than on the cameras. No? Is it just me? I know there's probably different parts of the building and whatnot, but I still think that something's different. Oh, I just love how accurate this is. It's crazy. But yeah, I'm uh I'm I'm most likely going to stop here. We figured out the name. You can see it right there. That's a K-I-M. K-I-M. Are you, hold on. 
<laughs> I was on the wrong scene. K I M. <laughs> I'm showing. You. I'm showing you things, and <laughs> I'm not even on the right screen. So as I was saying, the hold on, the tables. The tables are different than in this scene. I'm literally showing you guys nothing before. I'm so sorry. I'm still tired, guys. Worked all night last night at Freddy's, you know? And like, what is this scene, dude? What is this? Why do you keep saying Kim Kardashian? Stop. All right. All right, what time what time is it for me? It's almost 7 p.m., but I I I I woke up at like 3:40, maybe 4 o'clock. I worked till 7 a.m. this morning, so yeah. Yep. My dog's trying to bust open my door. He's like, "I want in." Let me in. But anyways, guys, I'm going to head out. It's it's p.m. right now. It's p.m. The stuffing scene. He could we're going to get a lot of stuff like we have a sim like for people who've obviously been playing the games for almost a decade. We have a, a an understanding of what will possibly happen in this movie. And since we are crazy advocates of this game, diehard fans, it's going to be that much more appealing to us as opposed to people who have never played FNAF or have never understood it and just want to see a horror flick and are like, what is going on right now? I don't get it. What's the bite of it is Saba? I don't know, why, why is that bottom of his summer? <laughs> why, why is he putting him in a suit? Why is that suit got spring locks on it? Why is there ghost children? Yeah. <laughs> I, I, yes, guys, I'm going to be leaving, though. I did say I was going to be doing this for an hour, and it's already been almost an hour and a half, so. I'll have more videos coming out uh, tomorrow. Um, I do have... Some more stuff happening on the other channel. I got to sit down this week and edit my Overwatch 2 gameplay and my other Rust gameplay because I am so behind and I'm just like, every time I'm off, the last couple weekends have been jam-packed. I've been going to places. <laughs> What's a Bonnie? <laughs> yeah. uh, so I just, I haven't had time to just sit down all my days off and just work. So <laughs> it's funny. It's, it's I have days off, but I did stuff, so I couldn't, and then I, I want to just work more on my days off. Oh, my God. All right, guys. Well, I know a lot of you didn't really get the notifications, but thank you so much for being here. I know people are just showing up now, but I've been theorizing for an hour and a half, and I just want to... There's not there's only so much you can get with 45 seconds, so... And theorize about for 45 seconds. But it was good to hang out with you guys. It was good to theorize with you guys, and yeah, I'm going to head out hang out with my wife, uh, put my son to bed when it's time. I only see him like an hour or two a day now and it sucks. That's what happens when you work so much. Um, but man, this movie's going to be nuts. I can't wait to see the leaked trailer in full resolution when it comes out because I know it shows like two minutes at least of footage and it's different. So it's going to be good. But anyways, guys, thank you so much for being here. Um, thank you for everyone who showed up. Thank you for supporting this and I hope notifications get pushed next time we do this. So. I'm going to head out. So, bye-bye.